Darling mother, how I miss you. I count myself very lucky to, be, to have been able to call you my mom. It's been 85 days today. And it's been very hard. My mom was the most loving person, like totally kind. My mom was cheerful, she was positive, she was warm, she was always friendly, always in high spirits. Every weekend she's calling everyone one after the other. She used to call every Sunday, speak to us, speak to her grandkids. You know, praying for everyone. Just an all round positive person. It's always the language, anything that relates to God. For everything that we have to do, it has to be prayers first. I just want us to celebrate her. I'd miss her warmth, her embraces, her hugs. <laughs> I'd miss her, her being able to calm my dad down. She was a stabilizing presence in the family. I would really, really miss that. She's, she's one of the prayer warriors in my life, and um, I'll, I'll miss that. Things I would have loved my children to learn from their grandmother. She had such a positive attitude. That had a very lasting impact on me. And I think it was part of why she was able to bring so many people together because she saw the good in everyone. She's a super beautiful cook. Um, and I've, even though my wife is also a good cook, but just that uh, generational experience would have made, made a difference. Patience. I mean, I'm not a patient person. I'm not, I'm not always tolerant. And my mom was the most tolerant person. I would have loved my mother to like pass that on to her grandkids. The moment I lost my mother, I did as well. I was overwhelmed by the show of love. I'm glad that she had so much impact on people's lives and so many people had so much good to say about her. I knew she was involved in the church, but I certainly did not know the extent. But apparently that was like her life. So seeing the amount of people that she had like impacted on their lives was really amazing. Knowing that my mother, a simple housewife, you know, impacted so many people. It was very heartwarming to see, to see how many people loved her. It made me feel good about how she lived her life. Um, it helped me cement the feeling that she's in a better place. For everything, there's a season and the time for every purpose under the heaven. The time to be born and the time to die. We lost the peace in the family. We lost the prayer warrior in the family. But God is there to console us. And I pray, may our dead soul rest in peace. Our daddy, our father, and the Abadjan family, all the children, that the Lord will protect you, the Lord will bless you, the Lord will keep you, the Lord 
we take his face to shine upon you. That sorrow, the Lord will take away from you. It shall be well with you.